spawning at the top left. We got our blue Terran from Shopify Rebellion. Give it up for Bion. And in the bottom right, four Alpha Eggs. The channel that you're on right now, the team with the Golden Dragons, he is classic. And uh, it looks like Bion is going to start off with a bang, or at least some cheese, because <laughs> he is proxying right at the uh, at the cliff side area of class, uh, class, uh, Classic Space now. Oh, he actually going to throw down the pylon there. Will he see it, though? I, I, I don't think he's going to see it, but at least Classic is aware that something like this could happen. And the pylon in that position is uh, the first right move here. Classic has has he seen? Okay, he he hasn't seen anything, but he just blindly goes for uh, for the zealot, which uh, leads me to believe that he really knows what uh, what Bian is up to these days. So uh, great uh, great mind games here coming coming out of both players, and it looks like Classic is uh, yeah just just a just a step ahead here out of Bian, but obviously Bian. Um, this, this is still scary. The the proxy reaper here, uh, you you have to you have to zell it out to like chase it a, a around just a little bit, but it's still a bit scary and it's still probably going to cost classic uh, a probe or two here. But for the time being, nice micro first probe going down right now. Yeah, nice micro by Bopless, I would say. Uh, considering the situation. I think uh, not too bad of a defense. Uh, only one probe loss. Usually, uh, it, I would say it, it will amount to like maybe two probes lost. But yeah, some nice little micro trick there. Uh, we'll save at least uh, one or two probes. Well, this second Reaper and this uh, the threat isn't entirely over yet. But uh, Classic now certainly has what it takes to to deflect this. Um, so he's smartly not rallying down any uh, any probes to his natural nexus yet. Um, well, I guess I guess he's doing it now that he's he's chased away the reapers uh, once more with the second adept coming out, and uh, we see on the mini map that uh, in fact the barracks is flying home, so no more reapers will be produced from that anytime soon. Uh, oh, one of the Reapers actually going down. Uh, the remaining Reaper gets into the main base once more. And the Adepts, uh, because they finished their Shades, are going to be a little bit late to the party this time around. And then uh, forcing another Pro Pull here. But the Reaper is eventually going to find its demise in the, uh, what, in the, in the attacks. Of the adepts here. What do adepts attacks with when they when they don't have glaive the glaive upgrade? Is it, is it still glaives just without the upgrade or what? Uh, what, what is their attack? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I guess. I guess. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what exactly what it's called, but <laughs> sorry for catching you off guard there. <laughs> <laughs> Adapt attacks. That that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, with oh, the which... oh, we're we missing something. The widow mine drop. Oh, oh. Probes. probes. Oh, I apologize oh. there. Oh no, that's uh, that medevac so sneaky, sneaking by the Oracle Scout, gets into the main base there of classic, killing off twelve probes. But maybe the oh, not even the medevac is gonna go down because the Viking and the Cyclone show up in time. And ah, uh, this pro this turned from a nice proxy reaper defense into a very bad situation here for classic with the, with that uh, with that widow mine drop hitting with the phoenix going down. Ah, uh, unfortunate turn of events here. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'll, I'll make sure to uh, rewind after the game uh, for those of you that that. Uh, want to see it again uh, but once again I apologize I didn't catch that I'll try to do better make sure I, I'll catch the next widow mind drop if there's uh, another one <laughs> uh, although it looks like beyond is uh, has stopped making widow mines 
uh, and is transitioning into full barracks infantry production. Um, and it looks like he is ready to attack and going to go ahead and not allow Classic any time to rebuild all his lost probes. Oh, this, this move out is actually very scary right now. There's nothing for Classic that can test it right now. He's still building Phoenix, which are not going to contribute to anything in this fight. Charge isn't done, and this looks... Oh, Widow Mines connecting. Vikings are no landing, and this is going to just deal game ending damage at this point. He has to pull all the probes into this, and Bian sneaks out and an easy and quick one. That, right. uh, that just all came down to the to the Widow Mind drop, which we're now going to rewind to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just going to quickly scout that uh, Widow Mind drop uh, so that Cannot see. Oh, okay, here we go. Kaboom, kaboom, and shoot. <laughs> oh, yeah, just, just no reaction whatsoever. No pro pull. Uh, let's go ahead and introduce our player. This guy here, he is spawning at the bottom left, or, or also at the 12 o'clock position. Uh, you can. Uh, Give a little bit of a debate on that. He is beyond. And in the top right corner, trying to bring it back, and it's looking good because he's found the proxy barracks. He is classic. <laughs> Finding the all oh, that's a nice positioning on the proxy though, because that SCB can continuously build, uh. even though there are two probes on top of it. Uh, is the barracks going to finish this? It's going to be so key to, to how this game is going to go. Second SCV is coming in, so this barracks is definitely going to finish up. And, well, I, I guess... I guess with, with the early scout, now, now Classic has all the time to prepare for it. But obviously the best case scenario would have been just straight up cancelling that barracks. Yeah, that was a nice little... Kind of a barracks positioning where the SCV was able to kind of dance around. Uh, you need the probe to kind of go from three sides in order to to uh, constantly attack it. Uh, so yeah, it looks like uh, Hyun kind of has his kind of proxy placement all sorted out there due to experience. That's that's just a very nice uh, positioning on the on the map that uh, the turn players figured out. So uh, proxy Reaper gets in here. Uh, this time only a single one, so uh, gets away with uh, one probe kill. So, yep, both players uh, can't be too unhappy about that. And the Reaper even gets away, so Ben <laughs> uh, keeps that alive for potential uh, future scouting as well. Obviously, what what you what you have to keep in mind uh, with this uh, when when you're scouting as, as a probes player when you're scouting the the proxy barracks that early on, you're pulling two probes to deal with it. Um, the two probes that you're pulling off of minerals is, at this stage of the game, somewhat significant and it's going to reduce your income. So, uh, even though uh, Bjorn built the barracks on the other side of the map and then produced from there, um, the, the damage that he's done is not only that single probe, but also the mining time of the two probes that were forced to um, deal with the proxy. Yeah, that's a good point. And, uh, oh, looks like Another we're gonna probe. have. Oh, looks like, uh. That, that will get picked off by the, uh, by the cyclone, but in the meantime, uh, I believe. Did he scout the, um. The Phoenix? No, he did not, okay. So, yeah, basically he scouted the Stargate, but he does not know what is coming out of it. Um, it's usually gonna be tend to be either Oracle or Phoenixes. Um, unless the Stargate, of course, is proxy, then it could be Void Race. Uh, but if it's built at home, then it's, yeah, usually either Oracle or, or Phoenix. At the very least, he knows that he needs some anti-air, and uh, he immediately gets the Engineering Bay, and that shall allow him to start building up uh, those, uh, or creating those uh, turrets to help defend against either uh, Oracle or Phoenix. Yeah, so, so in, in, in just a second here, Bian is going to recognize that there um, 
he, he scouted the Stargate and he's, he sees that there's no Oracle, so he knows that this is most likely Phoenix production. Uh, so he can prepare for that accordingly. He is uh, on a on a three barracks setup here. Um, he's producing plus one combat shields and stim at the same time. So once those upgrades are done, uh, it's going to be uh, sitting on on a nice beefy force. That wouldn't mind though connecting with the Phoenix. Phoenix obviously have enough HP to survive a single wouldn't mind hit, but. Uh, now they are pretty bruised, one of them is in the red HP, and uh, Classic is trying to get aggressive here. And right now the only bio units available to try and deal with that are the Phoenix have to be very careful here to not engage too close to the ma Marines. And yet Vian is just pushing this back with the relative ease. Uh, Classic really just wants to go for the, for the lift on the Cyclone there, but he's too afraid. That uh, that his phoenixes are going to suffer from that. Still keeping up the aggression though. And oh. now he goes for the lift, trades out. What? Oh no, that, oh, was, no. that was not the move. Uh, the first one was kind of a cave, and then the second lift without any support nearby uh, loses a second phoenix without without finishing up that cyclone. And, uh, and what, uh, not, not the result that Classic was hoping for, for sure. Yeah, he really wanted to Cyclone, but, I mean, he was he was sitting uh, next to the all those Marines, so... Uh, a little bit of a micro dance, but it seems like Beyond was the better dancer during that engagement. Beyond, absolutely known for his uh, swift feet on the dance floor. <laughs> Oh my god, now I'm imagining Beyond dancing on the dance floor. <laughs> I feel like he would do pretty well, actually. Ah, yeah, you could bring it. Maybe maybe that's... Uh, well, when, when he gets into streaming once again, maybe that can be one of his donation goals. <laughs> yeah, it's Night like... out in, in Seoul with the karaoke and dancing with Beyond or something. <laughs> yeah, and then you can like... You know, you like donate to see Micro Jackson turn into Ma uh, Michael Jackson and dance his uh, heart out. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. Uh, <laughs> but for now, we're gonna have to see how Classic deals with this move out here. There are a bunch of shield batteries done. The Phoenix Count has recovered, but now Classic is going for picks up the Widow Mine. Oh, one of the Phoenixes just. Uh, Flying in there, gets another pickup on the widow mine, but not finishing it off. Oh, another uh. bio force on the ground, fighting outside of the range of the shield batteries, and it looks like Vian uh, disposes of Classic just uh, just as he did with Prince. Looks like Classic this time around wasn't that uh, that much of a, of a bigger threat to Vian here, and looks like he's just steamrolling his way through. To the semi-finals where another Alpha X player is waiting to face him. He's gonna be facing Joan in this uh, in the semi-finals, but that is going to be in one week from now.